Hey guys, I'm out here at 4510 Mary Lou. Nice neighborhood. It's close to the mall, Market Street. Really easy to get to everywhere. Good curb appeal, nice big trees. Love the entryway. Pretty original on the inside. Another sunken living room. We have some cracked tiles and it's just overall old. Definitely looks a little unlevelness through here. Front door, wet bar, dining area. That door is blocked, but there's another door to outside. Love the kitchen cabinets in here. All the electric appliances, kind of older. Pantry. Laundry hookups right here. Again, some damaged drywall behind where the washer goes. A lot of damage to the ceiling in here. Two car garage. Definitely not as loud in the backyard as that one was right by the highway. It's windy, but this is really great outdoor space. These pergolas, like to rebuild this today would probably, with a crazy cost of wood and everything, would probably be twelve to $15,000 to build a pergola like this, maybe more. Really interesting backyard space. Then it looks like the fence kind of keeps going over here. What's going on? Huh, I don't get it. Why would they have that little piece of fence right there? Some parts where the trim is, looks like not painted all the way, starting to come apart on the seams. It's not too terrible. Not as bad as some that we've seen. That looks new, but they didn't use like treated wood or stain the wood to prevent it from getting messed up from the weather. Interesting little outdoor countertop. Oh, this is uh, your insurance company will drop you. It's a Federal Pacific box. These are really old. Um, I mean, if you get homeowner's insurance, they may or may not drop your coverage if you don't update that to a newer box because those are old and a fire hazard. It's like 1800-ish to upgrade a burger panel box like that. So standing right here in my naked eye, I can see it's like a hump in the middle and crowns either direction. Older panels, gas, water heater also older and gas. Bedroom, two closets, it's a regular closet. Kind of just stuff here and there throughout this house. It's really not bad. Like some of the ones we saw yesterday were pretty awful. This one's in decent shape. Stella's in the car. She wanted to eat the rest of her Chick-fil-A and watch Peppa. Two double closets in this one, too. I don't like how these doors go to war. Primary bathroom, or primary bedroom. New windows in here. Barn door. Dual vanity. Dual closets. These closets are pretty decent, and there's two. Plus all of this storage, then 
a little awkward layout here with the potty and a walk-in shower. Well, cool. That's his house. Let me know what you think.